other news, residents on Butte's west side may see increased traffic as haul trucks will be taking waste material through the area to a repository site. MTN's John Amy tells us more about this project. The removal and transport of waste material from the center of Butte, including portions of this slag wall along Silverbow Creek, is about to begin. And the haul route for that material will run through a busy West End neighborhood. Our goal is to, to impact the community the least that we possibly can with trucks on the roads. But we are going to have to have some trucks on the roads to get the, the cleanup done that, we, that needs to be done. The Atlantic Richfield Company is demolishing portions of the slag wall and removing the foundation of the former Butte Reduction Work Site off of South Montana Street and then trucking that debris to the Butte Mine Waste Repository Site in the northeast part of town. Part of the haul route runs the length of Excelsior Street, which is a large residential area. Some residents are concerned about this. Down at the bottom of the street here, we have West Elementary. My granddaughter goes there. I take her there almost every morning. And those kids cross the street here, and you got up north the Kennedy. They cross the street by the Kennedy. Officials note that this route has been used to haul debris for decades and shouldn't have a big impact during this short-term project. They don't expect the project to have any risk to public safety. They also have to have water suppression on site to control dust, and then all loads need to be covered during transport. Still, some residents wish they would transport waste to sites outside of city limits. Uh, by the way, it's good to remember British Petroleum made $28 billion last year, and if all we're trying to do is save some gas money for them, well, tough noogies. The city notes that this haul route is not going to be used in the upcoming Superfund reclamation project. Project leaders are looking for other routes that will have less impact on the city. Impute John Amy, MTN News.